we are taking you to one of the prettiest places on the planet, right here, Portofino. And later in the program, we'll take you to Santa Margarita Ligure, another beautiful town on the Italian Riviera. Well, to get there, we're driving from Santa Margarita. It's about three miles along the coastline. And you pass a little beach along the way and a few isolated houses, but mostly it's this windy, curvy, cliff hugging seaside road. It's really scenic. You can get there by city bus. It's an inexpensive bus ride, under two euro. Only takes about 15 minutes. In our case, we're going by a private shuttle van because of our schedule. And this worked out really nicely. They took us right in to the heart of town. It's a little village, easy to walk around. There's some shops. There are about a half a dozen streets and the view. This is one of the great views of the world. And we are going to show you how to get that view, especially at twilight, how nice. And we got here kind of late in the afternoon. And so right away, first thing, we want to walk up the hill while the lighting is good. Yes, it's a bit of an uphill climb, but not so bad. And it's worth it because you will get some super views. That's the first glimpse you get, but keep going because it gets better. You go a little bit higher, only takes about 15 minutes at most to walk up here, or 10 if you're a good walker. There's the view that you're gonna get. That's spectacular. You can go a little further. You don't have to go much further than that, maybe up to the church. We're here in the off season. It's November, so there's not very many other people around, which makes it very convenient for us. As you get to the top, you'll see the small castle of St. George, and next to it is the Church of St. George, which makes a great observation lookout for enjoying the view down below. And you don't need to go beyond that, because here is where you get that perfect view, looking back at the little cove of Portofino. And this is the great time of day to be here. You get the natural lighting, you get the street lights on, the shop lights are coming on. So the church lookout is a great spot to see the town from. We'll get back down in the village in a moment and show you around. There's a couple of shops, there's a couple of restaurants in this season. Some students from the Ukraine also visiting, taking their pictures. The water was a little choppy this evening. It was high tide, water splashing up over the dock there. It's a protected marina. Portofino is world famous as a home for yachts and the visiting jet set and the millionaires and the billionaires. But there's some affordable accommodations that we'll show you in a moment. And there's local residents, of course, in Portofino, very small population, some ordinary neighborhood shop. But there are not very many accommodations here. It's more of a day trip. You might stay nearby at Santa Margarita as we're doing. And there's a lot of hotels in Santa Margarita. So we'll show you signs for some hotels and bed and breakfasts. You don't have to stay at the most fancy five-star deluxe hotel if you want to stay in Portofino. But here you go, there's some B&Bs, three-star hotels, four-star hotels. Hotel Splendido is probably the top choice, but they're closed from November through March. You get into the residential neighborhood just up the hill, and then it's time to go hopping on our bus. We shared the bus ride with these young university students. They are students in economics in Ukraine, in the capital city of Kiev. And little did these students know on their holiday that they were gonna be walking right back into a battle zone. Fortunately, the revolution turned out well for the people. And the old president was kicked out. Very friendly folks. And in just about 15 minutes, the bus delivers you right back into Santa Margarita Ligure. We discovered that Santa Margarita is not only a convenient place to stay because of its numerous hotels and restaurants and shops, but it's also a beautiful town. It's right along the shores of the Ligurian Sea, and there's a big marina and there's a delightful old town with a pedestrian zone. Lots of locals out. The train station is located right in the town itself, 
And so if you're traveling light, you could most likely just walk from the train station to your hotel. Most of the hotels are within a half a mile or at most one mile away. But in our case, we've got suitcases and a small group. And so we're going to have uh, taxis shuttle us right over to the hotel and we're going to start touring immediately. We decided to stay in Santa Margarita because it's just three miles away from Portofino and just a little bit further away from Cinque Terre, which are the main attractions of this coastline. We have discovered that Santa Margarita is a classic town in its own right. It's a bright little town full of light and color, which came into being originally with the merging of two small adjacent villages, and now it's formed into one beautiful spread along the coastline. It's ironic that Santa Margarita is not as famous as those other destinations, but it's just as nice. There's a charming waterfront park and promenade with benches and landscaping, beautiful palm trees, statues and fountains, and old orange colored and brown buildings nestled right up against the harbor with their sidewalk cafes and shop fronts. In Santa Margarita Liguri, we're staying at the Lauren Hotel. It's four stars and it's right on the waterfront. Great location, just a um, hundred meters away from the center of town where you've got all the restaurants and the piazza, the pedestrian lanes and the passeggiata in the evening. So consider Hotel Lauren when you're in Santa Margarita Liguri. This park has a statue of Christopher Columbus seemingly pointing out across the sea at the New World. Well, it's because Columbus is reputed to have been from the area, from Genoa, which is about 25 miles north from here along the coastline. And therefore, he might have even spent some time right here in Santa Margarita at some point during his career. Like many, if not most Italian towns, there's a statue in honor of Garibaldi, the great hero who led the battle for independence of Italy as a sovereign nation. When you get away from the waterfront and step into the old town just a block away, you'll find some very charming sidewalks covered by arcades with big pillars and shop fronts. The arcades are a great place to stroll and gather, protects you from the elements, and then there's some open plazas right nearby. It's the traditional evening passeggiato where all the local folks come out for a stroll. It's after work, it's before dinner, the families are gathering, there's artists in the street, there's lots of kids out playing. And sometimes you'll get lucky and come across a very special family scene like this one. A bunch of young kids and one of the dads posing them. That's a challenge posing them into a group photo. This scene with the kids having fun and the local townspeople walking around is just an example of how Santa Margarita Ligure is really a local place. It's less of a touristic spot and more of an authentic Italian small town experience. It's a safe place, it's a friendly place, and yet it has a good variety of shops and restaurants and hotels that can really take care of the visitor. The town center is a pedestrian zone with several streets and piazzas just for people. No cars allowed. This is typical of what you're finding throughout Europe nowadays. We're getting hungry and there's quite a few restaurant choices and we got lucky with an excellent place with a very friendly waiter. Ristorante da Michele. My name is Bush. This is Santa Margherita and this is Ristorante da Michele, welcome. Uh -huh. Thank you. It really was quite a spectacular experience. Everybody in Hawaii, ciao. <laughs> ciao. So ready, not, so ready for Italian food. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. We were having a relatively early dinner. It was only about 7 o'clock, but we'd had a long day and we were hungry and ready to eat and we're American tourists after all, eating early. Europeans generally eat about 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. Many restaurants don't even open till 8 p.m. 
Is the gnocchi shalatielli homemade? This was open. We had it all to ourselves because of that early hour. Great service, incredible foods, fresh pasta, and great vegetables, and terrific wine to go with it. What a package. And we enjoyed the regional specialties. Some mussels and calamari, some white fish, crab. That's the trophée, the hand-rolled fresh pasta with a pesto sauce. And the pesto is from the area because the hillsides cultivate a lot of basil. Thank you very much. Great spot. Thank you very much, Thank Mr. Bush. Thank you. We'll see you again. Take care. Yes, sir. Bye. Followed by a little after dinner stroll to work off that amazing meal. And the town is still jumping with lots of people out walking. Another good reason for staying here is that there is a wide variety of hotels that you can stay at in Santa Margarita, ranging from four star deluxe right down to budget economy in all sizes and categories, so it makes a real good home base. Quite a few of the buildings are 300 and 400 years old, so you really do get quite a feeling for history here in Santa Margarita. There's an outstanding Baroque church, and many of the painted decorations on the buildings harken back to the Baroque and even the Rococo eras. The area has quite a history, it started out as uh, several separate villages, and then in 1812, they were joined together by Napoleon, who named them after himself, calling it Porto Napoleonic. However, three years later, with the fall of Napoleon, all of that was undone, and the city was transferred to the kingdom of Piedmont and Sardinia, and renamed as Santa Margarita. The hotel breakfast is just what you would hope to find in a very nice four-star hotel in Italy. A big spread there with your cold cuts, your meats and cheeses. There's rolls and fruits, of course. There's yogurts and coffee. Cappuccino. it right out. Fresh brewed coffee. Cappuccino. There's different kinds of beverages available, and it's a very nice setting. We have tables with a view looking out at the waterfront just right across the street. Just ideal. You've been watching our visit to Santa Margarita Ligure, which is part of our tour visiting Cinque Terre and Portofino nearby areas. And we have many more episodes of video showing you those wonderful places. The five villages of Cinque Terre, incredible and Portofino, one of the world's most famous jet set destinations. Well, this morning we're heading out that away uh, for our visit to Cinque Terre. It's about an hour and 20 minute train ride from Santa Margarita, and the weather does not look too promising. The forecast is for scattered showers throughout the day. Right now there's just a little mist in the air but we'll see how the day develops. We're going anyway, and rain or shine, Cinque Terre is a beautiful place to visit. Well, we're taking a walk from the hotel uh, along the waterfront promenade in Santa Margarita. Actually, we're heading for the train station. We're going to be riding down to Cinque Terre for today, but that's a different movie. For this film, we're just showing you Santa Margarita. Look at our other movies for our adventures in Cinque Terre and Portofino, the nearby attractions here close to Santa Margarita. And check it out and we will show you much more of the area. We're walking over to the train station which is only about 10 to 20 minutes away from any hotel in town. So convenient. Santa Margarita Ligure station connects internationally all over Europe. It's a major train station. And it also has some of the local trains that connect directly down to Cinque Terre. So it really is a great connection spot. So you wait around for the train, hang out, and sure enough, it comes, you get there about five minutes ahead of time. That's all you need to do. They're never early. Sometimes they're a little late. So the train arrives, you get on, 
In the off-season, not crowded at all. It's mostly second-class cars on these local trains, so you don't need a first-class ticket. Conductor comes around, punches your ticket out, and you get some scenery out the windows, and soon enough you have arrived at your next destination. So stay tuned and travel with us throughout Cinque Terre. We upload a new movie every week, so please subscribe to our channel. Then you'll be notified. And if you enjoyed the movie, how about a thumbs up? And we always welcome comments down below. It really helps us spread the word. Thank you.